God, I thank you for everybody here. I thank you for their courage to come here tonight. I thank you for their sacrifice that's represented by being here. I thank you for the steps of faith and commitment that they're going to take. And God, I ask that you would bless them for the decisions they're making tonight that they're going to commit to for the next two years. I ask that you would just bless them through and through. And God, just do great things through this group of people and through the bridge. In Jesus' name, everybody said amen. All right, let's worship together. God's work is unfinished. In our hearts, our community, and in our facility. I'm most excited about what God's gonna do in my heart to step out in faith with giving. God is gonna complete a work in my life and in this church and in the lives of all the people God wants to see changed by this church. We were here for the initial um, service for this church, so we are super excited to see where the bridge is gonna go in the future. God's work is unfinished. In our hearts, in our community, in our facility. <laughs> God is working. He's on the move. The fire is already burning. And now we're pouring gasoline on it. And we're saying, if this is what God has done with this building that's falling apart, what could he do when we invest the resources to make the facility as welcoming as everything else? What I'm most excited about is seeing God join our efforts. He's just waiting for us to bring our part and he's eager to do his part and I know he will. For me, it's just to see the change that's gonna come in the church and in the community and, and God just working through that and to be able to be a part of that and to see that, I'm excited about that. And this initiative has kind of jump-started us in talking about uh, our finances and what we want to do with them. What is our priority? Do we want to build our own kingdom or do we really want to build God's kingdom? And I'm very grateful that the initiative is happening right now in our relationship so that we can, at the start of our marriage, just get in line with what God wants for us. Not what we want, but what God wants for us. This is something I'd never give this much ever to a church. I feel like this is what I need to give because of how much this church has done for me and I want it to be able to reach to other people in the community. Thank you.